would just begin to cry. He'll wipe the tears from my eyes. Mm -hmm. I'll say thanks. He'll ask me why. Mm -hmm. This will be my reply. You know that millions didn't make it. But I was one of the ones who did. Millions didn't make it. But I was one of the ones who did. Uh-huh. Yeah, my name is Earl. I'm the uh, tenor in the group. I am, uh, I guess you consider myself like uh, the nucleus of the group, the center of the group. Uh, I uh, help with the day-to-day -day of Cousins, uh, booking studio time, and just all the business and everything, and all the business aspects that come with uh, the day-to-day -day with Cousins. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, I seen background of the group. Uh, whatever's needed, whether it's tenor, top, most time top, soprano notes. Uh, as far as the group, I'm the I'm the person in the back scene, background with everything. Uh, as far as just making sure things move forward. It's Montiel, I am a uh, lead singer, background singer, uh, singing soprano, falls, tenor, alto, any note but bass. Uh, you know, I'm, I just try to bring that fire, bring that heat, bring what the group needs, you know, and I'm not seasoned, you know, that you gotta season that meat up for it to taste good. <laughs> you know, make you wanna go back and get seconds. Yo, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, that was hungry, that. that was yeah. Hungry. yeah. Oh, man. See? I'm Lamont, um, another lead singer. Um, but, you know, I do some backgrounds, top, middle, bottom. Um, I'm also the group's choreographer. <laughs> Can I see a move? Wow. Can I see your stuff? <laughs> best move dress up. Best move, move dress up. <laughs> nah, but I mean, you know. What you got? Th this, is, this has definitely been a, uh, you know, a process. It's, uh, we all been breaking up doing the, uh, the responsibilities. How we can get it done. Our goal is to get the job done. Uh, I'm Rucker. Uh, What's your first name? I'm Tell the world your first name. <laughs> really? I'm What's Eric. going to be Rucker. Leon, the actor? <laughs> to I'm one name? Uh, man, uh, I'm a producer, uh, songwriter. Uh, any note they need me to sing, uh, I think we all kind of versatile with that. You know, uh, I just try to bring a different element to what it is that the Cousins is all about. I'm Tim. I bring up the foundation, carry the foundation of the group, bass, and note-wise, also songwriting, and just, you know, help with the, you know, the backgrounds as much as possible and make sure that blend is there. What triggered Cousins coming back together is Lamont put a picture on Facebook. Facebook. Back in the day of us doing Doing some singing and whatever the case may it be, you know. It was a throwback Thursday. It was a throwback Thursday, yeah. and he triggered it. And basically, we had the conversation on Facebook, like, "Yo, we should get back together and do something." And uh, and that's how basically everything came about. <laughs> you know, it's funny because that day was hilarious. I think I think it was more the people that were responding saying, "Y'all should do. Y'all should do." So then this joker going to inbox me, Earl. <laughs> talking about, stop teasing the people. I said, well, let's don't tease the people. Let's give them what they want. So, here you go. Here, here it we, is. Here we are. Here we are. Cousins. Um, Zang. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> what you got to say, C? Uh, man, I'm just, I'm just glad to be, to be here. It's, uh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> nah, glad, really glad to be here, man. It's something that we 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 attempted before, 
And it's a matter of when you start something, you need to finish it. And this is our, this is our time. This is our time to finish it. Uh, we're, we're, we're more mature now, very mature now. And um, it's just time to finish what we started. See, it's a beautiful experience, you know. I don't even think I'm back for the music. I think I'm back just to be around my cousins one more time, you know, be around my cousins. Don't start crying, man. Don't start crying. 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 Don't Oh, well, um, it really, it really, because I wasn't an original member of the group, uh, but we've all sang together ever since we were, like, really small uh, with the family and everything. So that particular picture that they threw up on that Throwback Thursday joint, yeah. I think it was either you or Lamont. I said, Everybody, I said, I think we should add, add, add Eric, Eric, Eric to the, to mm -hmm. the add Eric to the mix, and yeah. I was like, cool, you know what I mean? We've always talked about doing this together, doing something together. So when they threw me in the mix, I was like, cool. I was down. It was like, yo, let's get it in. And we just all enjoy being creative, you know, especially together, you know, that yeah. the creative experience together when we just in one room and we able to tackle a song um, from top to bottom, intro to bridge to the hooks and uh, verses. It's, you know, to capture that, you know, sometimes we wish we had a fly on the wall to just capture it all. Because like T said, it's a beautiful experience. And uh, I, I think that's what we value more so um, as a group, as cousins, we value that experience uh, because we all recognize that it's special. So growing up, some of my inspirations were like, um, when you talk about groups were like, we would channel ourselves behind like the whinings, mm -hmm. the commissions, and then even in the 90s, you would say like, you know, we love Boys and Men. We actually went to school with Juan Ye from Boys and Men, so we supported them and we also loved them also. So I would say that too. Um... Groups like Temptations, Rude Boys, uh, OJs, you know, that good soulful sound. Forever mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah, but if you were a group in the 90s, any, any song you had, we sang it. You know, every, every group that came out, we sang every song that y'all had. You know, growing up, uh, I know T.L. and Earl could definitely attest to, you know, being groomed here in Sam Cooke. Uh, with me, it was, you know, I fell in love. My pop introduced me to uh, Marvin Gaye and just his backgrounds <clears throat> and background vocals. And that, you know, th those definitely were uh, momentous in our lives and kind of like a stamp. Mm -hmm. you know, definitely. Um, you know, I think we forget, though, I... I guarantee I'm gonna get a laugh. The mighty clouds of joy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can't forget the Don't mighty clouds of joy. Nah, how about the gospel keynotes? <laughs> oh yeah, I said yeah, the gospel keynotes. We can go to the Trenton All-Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 David Jones. Do you? Yeah. 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 Definitely. I'm more of I'm more of a uh, like my was saying, like the gospel keynotes. I love quartet music. You know what I mean? That it's something that's embedded in me, you know. But I can go for anywhere from Michael Jackson to Stevie Wonder, the yeah, Prince, yeah, yeah. to, you know, Donny Hathaway, mm. go back to Frankie and Lyman. It, it's just, music is like something that was bred in all of us. You got a quartet song we could do? Oh, yeah, I got one we can do. <laughs> Y'all not scared, are you? <laughs> right, off the yeah. right off the cuff? I mean... I don't know what y'all know. I mean, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, wait, wait, we work on that later. <laughs> we'll work on that later. <laughs> yeah, hold us to that. We'll work yeah. on that later. With that, I think it was more so, you know, one in the hill and men, uh, men uh, our, our personal relationships, you know, because we, we have grown up. Um, so some of the things that we used to do in the past, um, you know, we had to get over 
growing up now and, and that that caused, you know, communication and the bond to just start coming back. And uh, once you understand that, then it was like, all right, we should be spreading this, you know, the the values, the understanding that we have with each other, and spreading that abroad, you know, because other people need to hear it and it can motivate somebody else and inspire somebody else to reach out to their family. So with that, you know, I think that was a, I think that was key for us getting uh, back in, just back in the studio together first. And then once we got in the studio, the energy just, you know, elevates to another level. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. And it's just like, really at the end of the day, uh, when I'm talking to my people about everything that I'm doing, you know what I mean? They always give me encouragement because music is my life, you know what I mean? And so getting back in the studio and being with all of us for the first time in a very long time, because I could either see Tim or Earl or TL or Mod or, or Corey, and, you know, we could just one-on-one -on -one or right. a couple of us, but for all of us to all be back in the studio and all doing what we love, you know what I mean? It, it took some kind of a adjustment just to be able to move, manage you know what I mean? That, yeah. To be able to manage that in, in a positive way. But, you know, the, the positivity is about we got one goal. And that is to make good music that's going to touch people's lives. You know what I mean? And also heal our lives. Because music is a healing. And music mm -hmm. is is an emotional relationship with your audience. Mm -hmm. You know, so you got to be able to, if this does not work, if these relationships don't work, the music does not work. And I think that's one thing that we had to understand. These relationships have to work before we can present anything to anybody. You know what yeah, I mean? And it's a it's a true blessing to be able to go out there and be able to touch somebody and be able to sing something and somebody really feels it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah, that 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 beats all the money. Right, you know right, I mean? right, right, right. You know that beats you know all the accolades because those things go. But when you're able to make a song that's gonna touch somebody in their soul and say when they look back, oh, I remember this and this and this happened you know i want to be the we want to be the soundtrack to somebody's life you know yeah, what I mean? exactly that's Indeed. good that's good you know it's funny because what eric is saying is it's really magical you know um our family still gets together for sunday dinner our whole family it's like it's a lot of us you know what i'm saying but musically this was a, an extra step we would see each other you know passing or for dinner or whatever this was an extra step but for me personally it has been it's been epic, you know what I'm saying? Because to get back with my cousins, it's just been like, we've all done our music. Either Tim was producing, Eric, you know, Corey producing, T working on his project, Earl writing, producing. But to come together in the studio, what, what was interesting was like, you all respect each other at this level. Yeah. And it was almost like, we're each other's worst critic, but at the same time, like Earl said to me earlier, we're still sensitive about it because this is our passion. So we in the studio and we're like, well, shit, you want to tell them? <laughs> you want to tell them? That's a bad note. But I mean, but it's cool though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we respect, it's, it's, that's respect. It's not necessarily like, you know, well, you don't know how to say it. It's respect because we respect each other's craft and what we've been doing outside of this. Yo, so to bring it together. The respect is, yo, you got a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that respect, that, that's, that's very serious. Anybody want to steal that? Somebody don't get their part right? Tell them they got a phone call. They know what that means. Come on out, come on out the booth. Come on out that booth. <laughs> yeah, I had a phone call yesterday. You, you Were there some phone calls today? There was a lot of phone calls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got a phone call. I didn't even get a chance. I got a phone call. Yeah, that was funny. I know that things seem crazy, everything in life's moving fast You're steady pushing, pulling, but your strength is down to the last And you keep wondering how, how did you ever get here? It's like your best friend is your pillow, cause it wipes all your tears You can't stop believing, cause tomorrow's a new day Day. And when life is filled with darkness, oh, oh. let my love light your way. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is just hold on. Mm -mm, just trust. Just and know that I won't let you fall.
think about all the times you were there when you could've ignored me. Makes me wanna shout. 